This is your stronger coach, Ryan Mathias from MathiasMethod.com, here with some coaching tips. Now, let's say you've been lifting for a little while, you got some experience under your belt, and you know how to do the squat, bench, and deadlift pretty proficiently, as well as other lifts. And then a beginner comes up to you, or maybe you see a beginner in the gym, and they're not performing the lift very well, or they have some questions about it, or they just want you to teach them. Maybe you're bringing a friend or a buddy, a girlfriend, anybody. Maybe you're bringing them and you're showing them how to do it. There's one or two ways we can go about how to show the beginners. Now, one way is, of course, if they've never done it before, this is usually the best. If they've never done this lift before, maybe they've seen it, just haven't performed it, is you show it to them first. Now, when you show it to them, what we tend to do, because we're so brilliant with how much experience we have and how great we are with all of our lifts, right? We're so great that we tend to overload them with too much information at once. <clears throat> so you go up there and you'll talk for about five or ten minutes on how to do a simple lift like a squat or a deadlift. I mean, how to pick up the bar. It literally moves maybe two feet. You really don't need that much information, five minutes or ten minutes worth of a talk. If they're a beginner, teach them like they're a beginner. Show them the very basics. What do they need for, let's say, a squat or a deadlift or anything? What do they need? A stance? Okay, let's put their stance there. They need to grab the bar in the right place. Usually both of those for beginners is just where it's comfortable. Where is it comfortable for them to stand? Where is it comfortable for them to uh, hold the bar? Where can they get it and be in a safe position? I mean. Uh, there's so many different ways you can do lifts, but really just where it's comfortable is the best for beginners. So let them uh, do it where it's comfortable. You just stand, stand where you need to, grab the bar where it's comfortable. Uh, if you're doing a squat, put the bar on your back, take a step back. You're going to simply push your hips back just a little bit, squat straight down, stand straight back up. Now when you watch them do it, which is the other way you can do it, if maybe they've done this lift before and they just want to show you what they got and get some tips, um, <clears throat> they'll come up to the bar, you'll watch them do it, maybe they do some things right, they probably do a lot of things wrong just because again they're beginners and usually beginners don't have it right off the bat. There's obviously a lot of tips you can give them and things you can help with, but you don't want to give them a million tips at once. Give them one, maybe two things to work on and think what's the biggest thing they really need. Maybe if they're doing squat, if they're doing a good morning on the way up, we need to fix that. Uh, for a squat, if they're not going to depth, it's really not that big of a deal, unless it's like super high. But I mean, if they're within two inches high or below, that's totally fine. Because I mean, most people that are beginners, they're not planning on being competitive powerlifters right off the bat. So if they squat a little high, it's really not that big of a deal. If they want to build up a lot more strength and really get into this, then yes, they're gonna have to go to depth. But if it's their first day or first week or even first month, maybe even first year, it's really not that big of a deal. They go to full depth or do everything absolutely perfect. Just give them one or two tips of how to uh, make it better. Then the next time you see them on that same lift or another lift, give them another one or two tips. It doesn't have to be five or ten things like you're doing this wrong and this wrong. We got to fix this and this right away and give them that five minute speech again. No. Just give them one or two things so they feel good, like, okay, I know I'm doing some things wrong. There's one or two things to fix, and then when they fix that, one or two more things, one or two more things. And you might give them one or two tips a week, maybe even a month if they don't do it that often. Hopefully they do it a lot more than that, but I mean, uh, just uh, give them a couple of things to work on, and let them work on those, let them get it down, and then show them some more things. And as they get stronger, as they get better, they'll understand your tips more. Like for all three of the main lifts, squat, bench, and deadlift, we have to use our lats. A lot of beginners or even intermediate lifters don't understand that. Sometimes advanced lifters don't understand that. Using your lats in the bench or the squat or deadlift, you got to do it to create tightness, but a lot of them don't have lats. First of all, if you're just a beginner, uh, you haven't really developed a muscular function. Of course, we have the actual muscle, it's just we don't know how, how it really works. We don't feel it that much. So give them beginner tips. As they get better, give them more tips. As you get to be really lifting some heavy weight, then tell them to start working on those uh, big cues, like pulling the lats in, get the bar really close to you, everything like that. Whatever they need to really progress. Help them with the biggest things first, then get down to the nitty gritty details that they really need. All right, that's your coaching tip of the day. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks for watching the last video, guys. Make sure you please give us a like and a share. Also, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at Matthias Method. 
Also go over to Facebook, give us a like over there, and check out the new Stronger store on MatthiasMethod.com where you can find all the information you need to grow stronger today. Talk to you next time.